Phil left my tractor in the way. Now I've got to move it. Look at this, we're in a Fergie. We're in Dr. Phil's tractor. And we are bailing. Look at these beauties. Beautiful stuff. This is what you saw me mowing in the last video. John is coming along here with Big Boots on the baler. He's probably about to have a bale. It'll work out quite nice. Yeah, the sun's come out now. It's been a really cold, cloudy, it was even raining a bit this morning, kind of day. Um, yeah, sun's out. That is lovely stuff. That's going to make some cracking silage. So I've got a trailer. I've got Dr. Phil's tractor. Dr. Phil's going to come up later on with another trailer because we've got a little bit of road work to get to another field. John's going to carry on baling. Um, we need to get the wrapper and also the Manitou up here for doing the stacking, but we'll worry about that later on. For now, I'm just gonna go around with this trailer on the Fergie and grab all the bales uh, around the yard here. Um, I'm gonna stack them at the back of the shed so that later on when we do get the wrapper up here and the handler, they're all there for John just to wrap and stack. So yes, the good old 6470, absolute pocket rocket this tractor. Four cylinder, does about 55K on the road. Got a very, very, well suspended cab, front suspension, there's suspension on the loader, it's just quite a nice place to be. Drop the trailer off, we'll load this one up. John will be done in here in a minute. Another nice thing about this tractor, having the loader on it, is it's got the uh, joystick on the armrest. So this acts as the loader, so if I go up and down, look. It's got the auto um, rev on it as well, which is good. We haven't got to be like, reaching over here for a joystick and then over here for your gears, it's all just, it's all here handy. And also the Fergie, you've got your gear on the side as well, which is also very good. Scoop and go. Oh, it's just four wheel drives on. Now this trailer's not gonna win any beauty contests, but you're getting bales from A to B, so it's what we like. We've got ourselves a load. If my maths is correct. I think there's 14 on there, plus that one, 15. John's done in here, there'll be somewhere between 40 and 50 in this field, which is amazing. Just shows how well the grass has grown. Oh, look at that, he's even taken it to the gate for me. He actually ended up cutting four bits of grass here yesterday. So John will go off and bale those. And then at some point, we've got to do a bit of logistical thinking of getting the baler home, the wrapper up here tally handler up here and another trailer because we've got some far away lead to bring back here. Hopefully the dock will turn up to play as well. Right, change of scenery. I'm, uh, I'm back home in the shed. We just loaded the wrapper up, so John's still bailing. Um, Bruce come and pick up me and Phil. We've caught up behind him picking up bales, so we thought we'd come back and get this. So we're going to go up and set this up. And what we'll do is I'll start wrapping for a while, and then when John finishes bailing, he can take on wrapping and I'll go back and drape bales with Phil. But We've got enough wrap. The amount of bales that we thought we'd have over the entire lot, we had out the first two fields, so I've just put some more wrap on there. We'll take the 6.6 six up. Phil's gone to get the uh, squeeze. and refill my water bottle. And we'll head up there and see if we can uh, make a dent in it. Right, we just got back up to the yard. Out there is the bales we bought in already. There's some old wrap bales behind there, still good. We're gonna wrap these, stick them there. Uh, we've got this fired up, which is a start. Close this back window so that nothing can break it. Right, so that says manual, 21 layers. 21 layers is correct. We want to go on auto. Ah, the auto manual there. Auto, so hopefully now, when uh, I need to spin the bed round, let's go do that in a minute. I 
there should be some learning going on there. Need to attach the wrap here somewhere. So I'm hoping that one Phil puts that on there. We've got this, a little remote, so there's a little antenna there. This works first time, I'll be amazed. Oil pressure, oil pressure! Oh. It's a very fine point. That's a bit off putting there. I'll be alright. Right. <laughs> right, so I think we've got it set how we want it. Um, the next thing in a minute will be it'll run out of wrap and I need to remember how to change that but basically I've got this little remote there's a dead man's trigger on the back hold that can't do it with one hand very easy but hold that press start once the bell's wrapped you tip it off hopefully the plastic will break which it did that time that's good it hasn't been doing that every time I then need to get myself in a position to put this bell on between those two black rollers there let it down gently that is the bail on there. Now, ideally, that would have rolled far enough away that I could just press start now, and that one could start wrapping. But because uh, we're looking, we're looking the wrong way. We're looking uphill. Um, doesn't quite work like that. They want to roll back towards the machine all the time. So what I'll do instead is I'll clear this one out of the way. Now, obviously, with two hands, I'm a bit quicker. And as soon as I'm out of the way, I can get my controller again is really difficult with one hand which is why it's designed like it is press auto start and that should start wrapping lovely job and that gives me time to then go and stack this bale wait for that one to wrap and get another one ready and the process continues Glide them up together let it down very gently it's a stone yard here you don't want to introduce stones to plastic and yeah that one behind me is still wrapping i can hear the wrap coming off Get another one off the trailer, and we go again. Right, the time has come. The roller's uh, finished. So I've got to figure out how I do this again. I think that's how you do it. You have to release that latch, which moves the rollers away. Um, push this up, and that will hold itself out of the way. Put the new roll on, pull that cord, which puts the spring back down, pull the rollers back in, thread it through, how it says on the diagram, which is down there, and then just reattach it to the bale, which I've done. So hopefully, when I press auto resume, should be good to go. Yes. I'm good at farming! Actually, we've got a lot of bales to wrap yet, let's not say that. Right, John's relieved me of the wrapper. Me and Phil are going to head off and get some more bales. We need to take this off here first. Um, I'm running out of GoPro battery, which is really annoying, so we might have to swap over to this one. Well, I suppose I can put the battery from this one and that one. Yeah, me and Phil are going to get some more bales. John's going to carry on wrapping. We tweaked the wrapper a bit, or I tweaked the wrapper a bit just now. I put the tyres underneath it so that it propels the bale on a bit. The plastic will snap then, it gets rid of the plastic quicker. Seems to be doing a better job. Yeah, 
the only thing I might do is get a couple more bits of cardboard from underneath here in a minute. Because we don't want all this hardcore puncturing the bale. That's not a good thing. So everything around the yard is now picked up. John's there uh, wrapping them. Me and Phil are heading off to the other field. Just, uh, it's not very far away, it's just down the lane. Um, where there are 53 or 52 bales, I think, to pick up. So the plan is, I've left the trailer loaded next to John, the ones we just picked up here. He's gonna unload them whilst I go and pick up the trailer that Phil is already over at the other field loading. I'm gonna grab that, bring it back to the yard, by which time John have unloaded the other one, grab the empty one, head back to Phil, by which time he will have placed the amount of bales we can fit on the trailer in a line so they're all ready to load quickly. Load them all up and then just keep doing that. That's the plan. Done with the bales, Phil's got the last eight on there. Just gonna head back now, see how John's getting on. Phil said he was gaining on us rapid, so um, hopefully, there will only be these and a few more to do when we get back there. So we'll, uh, we'll see how he's getting on. Right, we are back at base. Phil's got to run, he's got his own hay to go and make, so he's uh, just wants John to take those last couple of bales off that trailer so he can scarper. John's got a few left in the stack here to wrap. It won't take him too long. There's eight on that trailer as well. So uh, once that trailer's empty, I'm going to scarfer as well. He's a big boy. He can look after himself. Phil left my tractor in the way. Now I've got to move it. I thought I would be helpful and move out the way so that Phil could just reverse out there nicely and not have to go over all that curb. But in the end, he just ploughed on anyway. He's still going. It's time. How about seven? Fair stack of bales in out. I don't know what the uh, overall number is. These ones are misbehaving a bit apparently because of how I've stacked them my fault and of course they've been here for a couple of hours now they've squat of course they need to be round really on that thing to spin square doesn't spin whereas a round thing does so John's doing his best it's kicking up a lot of dust I know that much there used to be a pile of dung here as well it's all sort of been shifted to the side there's a bale another one going on
Have you slowed that down some more? Yeah. Yeah, have you managed to get another bit of... Has it been trouble free? Other than those bales being a bit saggy? Not quite far enough, no. Would you want me to put the tyre back there? Yeah, I'll push the tyre out of the way. Ah, I see. What have we got left here? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, twenty-one. Twenty-one bells left, you won't be too long. Right, back in the yard. There's another day done. John will be back in a minute. Phil's been and he's gone, he's gone to turn his own hay. He's a busy man, that Dr. Phil. Um, we'll probably get on and turn some of our other grass we've mown down. Tomorrow we're gonna to try and make a load of hay out of that. So uh, we're just making as much use of this good weather we got whilst it's here. Um, we will want some rain, dare I say it, at some point. But as they say, make hay whilst the sun shines. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out all the links in the description. Uh, to all my other forms of social media and for merch if anyone wants it. I will see you guys on another video very soon. Cheerio.